Today we're diving into the adorable and fascinating world of lion cubs. These tiny bundles of fur grow into majestic kings and queens of the savannah. But did you know there are some key differences between male and female lion cubs? Let's get started. Physical appearance. At birth, male and female lion cubs look almost identical. Both are covered in a soft spotted coat, which helps them blend into the tall grass of the savannah. As they grow older though, differences start to appear. Around the age of one year, male cubs begin to develop thicker fur around their neck, which will eventually become their iconic mane. Female cubs, on the other hand, maintain a sleeker, more streamlined appearance. Even as cubs, males tend to be slightly larger than their female siblings, although this isn't always obvious in the first few months. Behavior and play. Lion cubs love to play, and their games are often a sneak peek into their future roles. Male cubs frequently engage in mock fights, wrestling with one another to establish dominance. These playful battles prepare them for the challenges of adulthood, where competition among males is fierce. Female cubs also play rough, but their games often involve teamwork and coordination. This reflects their future role in the pride, where hunting as a group is essential for survival. Interestingly, female cubs are usually more curious and independent at an earlier age, while male cubs tend to stay close to their mother for longer. Social structure and family dynamics. In a lion pride, females are the core members. They're the hunters, caregivers, and protectors of the cubs. Female cubs are groomed to take on these roles, often shadowing their mothers and learning how to stalk prey. Male cubs, however, face a very different path. When they reach about two to three years of age, they're usually forced to leave the pride. This ensures they don't compete with the dominant male. These young males, often called nomads, form coalitions with other males and roam the savannah until they're strong enough to challenge for a pride of their own. Survival challenges. Lion cubs, regardless of gender, face many challenges in their early years. Predators like hyenas and leopards pose a constant threat, and only about 50% of cubs survive their first year. However, female cubs have a slight advantage. Since they stay within the pride, they benefit from the collective protection of the group. Male cubs, on the other hand, are more vulnerable once they leave, as they must fend for themselves in a harsh and competitive environment. The future of male and female lion cubs. As adults, male and female lions serve very different purposes. Males, with their impressive manes, act as protectors, guarding the pride and marking territory. Females, meanwhile, are the backbone of the pride, working together to hunt and raise the next generation of cubs. But it all starts with those playful, spotted cubs, each with their own path ahead. Growth rates. Male lion cubs generally grow faster than their female counterparts. By the time they're around two years old, they are noticeably larger, which helps them prepare for their future role in competing for dominance and territory. Vocal development. Both male and female lion cubs practice roaring from an early age, but male cubs tend to develop deeper, more powerful roars as they mature. This is essential for males to establish and defend their territory in adulthood. Mane development. While male cubs start developing their manes around one year of age, environmental factors like temperature and testosterone levels can influence how thick and dark the mane becomes. Female cubs never grow manes, but there have been rare cases of females developing small tuft-like manes due to hormonal imbalances. Learning to hunt. Female lion cubs begin learning hunting techniques as early as six months old by observing and mimicking their mothers and other adult females. Male cubs, however, don't need to master hunting as extensively since they'll rely on females in the pride for food later in life. Leadership roles. Male cubs born into the same pride often form coalitions, which increase their chances of taking over a pride together when they leave. 
female cubs are more likely to remain in the pride and eventually become leaders among the hunting group. Risk of infanticide. When a new male takes over a pride, he may kill all the existing cubs to eliminate the previous male's lineage. Female cubs often have a better chance of survival in these situations, as they may stay hidden with the lionesses while the males fight. Unique bonding behaviours. Male cubs tend to form stronger bonds with their brothers or other male cubs in the pride, which serves them well when they eventually leave and become nomads. Female cubs bond more closely with their mothers and sisters, ensuring they work seamlessly within the pride later on. Lion cubs may start their lives looking and acting alike, but their journeys take them on very different paths. From playful tussles to life-changing milestones, the differences between male and female lion cubs are a testament to the intricate dynamics of nature's most iconic big cats. Thanks for watching Cuddly Critters TV. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing animal content. Oh, and also share this video with others who love animal facts.